وذكركم بإخوانكم السلفيين خاصة طلاب العلم والعلماء الذين يسعون لإصلاح الناس ولإرشادهم للخير يبذلون أوقاتهم ويبذلون أنفسهم ويبذلون أموالهم خدمة لهذه الدعوة ثم يقابلون بالأذى والضرب والشتم والأذى والتحذير لا تقبلوا تحذير أحد إلا بالحجة والبرهان هكذا هو المنهج السلفي هذه القاعدة لم آتي بها من تلقاء نفسي وإنما هذه قاعدة مقررة عند أهل العلم أن من كان سلفيا ومعروفا بالسلفية فإنه لا يقبل الطعن فيه إلا بالحجة والبرهان وليس من الحجة والبرهان أن تقول الشيخ الفلاني طعن فيه فالله لم يجعل المشايخ هؤلاء حججا من حيث هم وإنما المشايخ يدلون على الحق فمن دلنا على الحق قبلناه واتبعناه ومن خالف الحق إن كان متعمدا تركناه وإن كان مجتهدا متأولا عذرناه ولا نقبل باطله الشيخ أحمد بزمون حفظه الله تعالى he said, I remind you about your Salafi brothers, and in particular, the students of knowledge and the ulama from amongst them, those who strive hard and put forth much effort to benefit the people and to rectify the people and to point them to that which is good. They, they sacrifice and give from their times, and they sacrifice and give from themselves, and they sacrifice and they give from their monies and their wealth in the service of this da'wah. And then, in return, they are struck with harm and in speaking and people speaking ill of them and warning against them. Do not accept the warning, any warning from anyone against them, except that it has to have to come with clear proofs and evidences because this is the Salafi methodology. This principle, this is not something that I have brought from myself, but rather this is a principle that is oft repeated and is agreed upon by the people of knowledge. Is that, is that if an individual he is Salafi and he is known for his Salafi, then we do not accept any type of warning against him or any type of ill speech against him as relates to him? except that it has to have proofs and evidences. And it is not a proof of evidence just to say, Sheikh so-and-so has spoken ill of him. Because Allah Ta'ala, He has not made the Mashaykh them a proof and evidence themselves. But rather the scholars, they only point to that which is true. So whoever has pointed us to that which is true, then we accept it. And whoever has gone against the truth, and if he has gone against the truth intentionally, then we will leave him. And if he has gone against the truth after the after striving hard to be right and striving hard to be correct and making it jihad, then we will point this out to him, his error, but we will not accept his error. <laughs> باتباع الحق لا باتباع الخلق إنها أصول سلفية تهدم وتبطل وتنقض كل شبهات خلفية وكل قواعد بدعية وكل منهج يخالف منهج السلف الصالح والله لو تمسكنا بالمنهج السلفي حق التمسك لما استطاع هؤلاء أن يتكلموا بكلمة وصنا ولكن بعضنا جهل هذه القواعد وبعضنا غفل عنها وبعضنا حرفها وصرفها عن وجهها وبعضنا خالفها هوا وقصدا فنسأل الله عز وجل أن يهدينا جميعا إلى الصواب وأن يردنا إلى الحق ردا جميلا وأن يحفظ إخواننا من هذا الباطل وأن يهديهم إلى الحق 
وأما من أصر على باطله فنسأل الله عز وجل أن يكفينا شره بما شاء And the reason being is because we are ordered and we are commanded to follow the truth. We have not been ordered to follow the creation. Verily the principles of Salafia, they nullify and they eradicate and they destroy all of the doubts of the Khalif, all of the Khalifi doubts, all of the non-Salafi doubts you find, they eradicate them, they destroy them. Every innovative principle it destroys and every methodology that is a contradiction and contradicts the methodology of the Salaf al-Salih, you find the Salafi methodology, it destroys it. Wallahi, if we were to hold on to the Salafi methodology with the way in which it should, it should be held on to, then these individuals who be saying what they say and they won't have the opportunity to say what they say and to do what they do. But you will find that they are able to do such because some of us, we are ignorant of these principles. While others from amongst us are unaware of these principles or some of us are unaware of these principles and some of us, we have distorted these principles and we have taken these principles outside of their context. And some of us, we have got against these principles out of our desires and intentionally. So I ask Allah Azza wa Jal. So we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to guide us all to that which is correct and to return us to the truth with the most beautiful of returnings and to safeguard our brothers from this erroneous falsehood and to guide them to the truth. But as for the one who was persistent upon his erroneous error and falsehood, then we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to relieve us of his evil as in a manner in which Allah sees fit. وأن يحشرنا مع النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين وحسن أولئك رفيقا نسأله أن لا يفتنا وأن لا يزيغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هدانا ونسأله أن يرزقنا الإخلاص في القول والعمل وأن يجعل هذا القول وهذه المدارسة حجة لنا لا حجة علينا ونسأله أن يحفظ السلفية والسلفيين في كل مكان وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. We ask Allah, the Most Mighty, the Lord of the Tremendous Throne, to safeguard me and you, and to make us die upon the Sunnah, and to raise us with the prophets, and those who are truthful and sincere, and the martyrs and the righteous, because verily those ones, they are the most excellent of companions and the best of companions and the best of company. And we ask Allah Ta'ala, and we ask Allah Ta'ala not to place upon us a calamity nor to let our hearts go astray after they have been guided. And we ask that Allah Ta'ala, and we ask that Allah blesses us with sincerity in statements and in action. And we ask that Allah makes this speech and these lessons proofs and evidences for us and not against us. And we ask Allah Ta'ala to safeguard and protect a Salafiyya and the Salafis in every place.